How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome yourselves back to another review on the channel today. Look at what we've got. We've got Manchester United flashback, Edinson Cavani. Now, Cavani wasn't in the game for some amount of time. I think it was ever since he signed for Manchester United, actually. But now he's in the game. He got added, was it a couple of weeks ago, something like that? And now he's got this flashback card, which, on the base of it, looks good. 88 pace, 91 shooting, 85 dribble, and 87 physical. But... The card does have issues, we'll be discussing it today, we'll be discussing his pros, his cons, and everything about the cards, including the obscene price of 340 and 360 on Xbox and PlayStation respectively. But lads, if you do enjoy, you know what to do, you bring that like, you smash that like, you subscribe to the channel for the best detailed reviews on this entire website. If you do want any detailed reviews, this is the place to be, so make sure you do subscribe, and um, make sure you're following the channel regularly, so put those notifications on. By the way lads, if I look up there... Newcastle's playing Aston Villa right now with 10 minutes to go. Um, Jacob Murphy has just hit the crossbar. It's been a shy game. Honestly, it's so, so bad. It's actually embarrassing. But um, it's it's an important game for Newcastle. So I will be watching that at the same time. With uh, literally like seven minutes left of normal time. In terms of Gennison Cavani, he's got high, high workers. We're playing foot champions, him at strike of the day. Uh, six foot one soul. So he's actually really, really tall in this game. Uh, and his heading is actually... It, it, it's imperative to how he plays. Um... He saw the player's brilliance, he's hitting sensational, he's got a good leap on him as well. Three star skill moves is... It's not good, it's not good, because it's not meta, but if you like Cavani, by all means, go for a Cavani, get him in your team. Manchester United fans, get this man in your club, because you might be building the past and present, you know what I'm saying? Uh, imagine a Rooney... Ronaldo, Cavani in there. It would just be great to have all these kind of players past and present within your club. As for stats, they look phenomenal in certain areas. Literally every single area possible. Acceleration is 85. His sprint speed is 90. You put an engine on it to boost the agility and bounce and acceleration sprint speed just to make him feel that much more fluid on the ball. It didn't work. It did not work. His finishing looks incredible. 96 attack and position. By the way, his movements, he's never marked in this game. He's making the right runs at the right times because the high, high work rates. And his positioning is 96. Honestly, it's very, very good. He's got 93 finish, 94 shot power, 82 long shots, 92 volleys. Now, I don't believe he's got any shooting traits apart from power header. Um, yeah, which we'll get into in just a second. 91 penalties to boot as well. In terms of passing, it's very simple with this guy. It's it's chest the ball, do a ground pass. Villa's through. Wow. Uh, <laughs> do a ground pass, you know what I'm saying? 81 shot pass, 84 give, and 81 vision. Uh, good free kicks as well at 81. So you are... Shelby just hoofed it up the page. Uh, 82, I'm sorry for the commentary, lads. I'm investing in Newcastle in terms of support. Hey, hey, ref! It's good defending. Uh, in terms of support, man, and this is one of the biggest games of the season. Jacob Murphy, he just did it. What are you doing? Shoots! Did a bloody chop. Uh, 82 agility, 80 balance. It's not the greatest in the world, hence why I did use an engine to enhance that. 95 reactions, 85 ball control, 85 dribble, and 86 composure. Like I said, very good in the A, 6 foot 1, 93 jumping, 89 hitting accuracy, great stamina, which you do need for high, high work rates, which is imperative, it is 91, it's got great strength and aggression, 84 and 87, especially with that high attack and work rate you'll get in the opposition's faces, and do a job right, ah, here at life, boys. Uh, Aston Villa's just, it's offside, please say it's offside, please say it's offside, please, it's 1-0. Ah, uh, it's 1-0. Can I sum Edison Cavani out for Newcastle? Because the strike is a bloody shame, man. Lads, Edison Cavani's got injury prone and power hitter. Right now, my heart's injury prone because it's hurting. I just... Why is Bruce still in charge? Someone, someone riddle me that. Why is Bruce still the manager of this team? I've got no ideas. Please say it was like a handball or something, mate. Uh, hey, handball for the Newcastle player. Hey, that's gotta, that's gotta be something, right? I can't be asked. Lads, let's get the gameplay. And so Cavani, hopefully this cheers me up. Because Newcastle is shite. Right then, lads, after suffering, and I'm still suffering as well, it's like, it's injury time now. Uh, Newcastle's gameplay, which is beyond shite. Uh, let's have a look at Cavani's, which... Uh, anything can be better, you know what I'm saying? Love you, but flick by Cavani there, good shots. And that's why he's going to bring the table as well. He's, um, he's a very... Uh, what is this? Like, he's like a marksman. He's like a striker that holds up the ball, can utilize his strength, bring others into play, and just do a good job at that. And uh, Castle's brought Andy Carroll on now. Imagine if Andy Carroll scores a bloody screamer now. I'll go through the. Nice, give the ball away. Brilliant. I can't be bothered. Uh, Cavani. 
Cavani, better striker than Carroll. That's a great finish by Cavani in the back of the net. And again, he brings you that finishing quality where if you do get a chance, normally more often than not, it's going to go in the back of the net. It's just playing in champs, I didn't really get too many opportunities to uh, showcase his finishing abilities. But when I did normally get a chance, he normally punished the opponent. That was his kind of the first Sider at goal, and he puts it into the back of the net. And when I say Sider, kind of the first clear chance. Lovely backwards header there by Neves. By the way, Neves isn't too bad either. Cavani with the play off Ronaldinho. Lovely fake shot, good shot on his weak foot. By his weak foot is... Uh, by the way, his weak foot is four star. Uh, this Newcastle game's rattled me, boys. Absolutely rattled me. Uh, his weak foot's four star, and um, yeah, you can hit it with both feet. Long shot. She's got that in the bag. It's one of that finesse shot from range, man. Beautiful finish right in the top ends from Edison Cavani. I think that's Coutinho's old celebration. Is it? I think it is. But uh, a great finish there, and he just showcases that he can bring that to the table. So he's not just an inbox striker, a finisher, a marksman. He can be a sniper too, and can smash it from range, lads. And it can be very potent from distance. Outside the area here, I'm not too sure his positioning right there, but normally his position for me was absolutely fantastic. Making runs beyond the last man, like you've just seen there. A good strength to kind of shoulder off the man as well, to get it in the box. And um, he did miss a chance on that occasion, though, unfortunately. Uh, we've got Ronaldinho on the ball. By the way, I bought Ronaldinho today. Ronaldinho is a joy to behold, especially in your team. He's a very fun, uh, kind of calm attacking player in general. Nice little one two here between Cavani and his man. He's fully that into the back of the net. But honestly, lads, didn't really get too many opportunities to kind of show what Cavani was all about. Played four or five games tonight as well. Um. Overall, as I was a bit disappointed with his cards. Lack of four star skills really hinders his card massively. And um, I think that's quite obvious. Quite obvious. But, lads, let's get the summary. Let's talk some more. As that's a great save by the keeper, by the way. Lads, summary time. So, there we have it for Mr. Edinson Cavani. If you were to ask me as a neutral and not a Cavani fan, not a Manchester United fan, whether this was worth my 360,000 coins on the PlayStation, I tell you to grab that 360,000 coins. Twist it round, shove it out the window, and hopefully it lands in the bin because it's absolutely unacceptable that this SPC is this price because it's not good enough. It's not good enough. This card is generally not good enough for that price. If it was on the market, lads, a 90 rated Cavani, yes, he's a high rated card, this, that, the other. It's not amazing. It's not amazing, lads. It's just, honestly, this is like a 250k card. I'm, I'm telling you right now. Of course, what I could be through the roof or something, but uh, it's, it's, it's nowhere near that price, in my personal opinion, lads. And um, I was going to say, if I was a Manchester United fan, I'm not a Manchester United fan, but uh, I am a neutral, and I can't say I would never pay this to the card, even though I have already paid for the cards. I would never... Oh, yes, lads! Get the fuck in! Uh, sorry, I'm going to bleep that out. Lascelles just scored, lads. The 94th minute, come on! Dude, Captain Lascelles, boys. He's rushing them back the halfway line. A point's not good enough, man. It really isn't. But, um... Big captain of the Come on, boys! Yes, uh, let's... <laughs> I don't know what to say now. Hey, that was a great cross by Murphy, I think it was. A fantastic hit uh, by the Cells. By the way, I'm sorry this is broken into this, but sometimes real life comes first and real life football. Oh, what a powerful header that is, man. That should be a real commentator. Screw this FIFA stuff. Uh, keep that out of your net, mate. Keep that out of your bloody net. 94th minutes of four added on minutes. It's like, ah, uh, dude, it's what dreams are made of. Scoring an equalizer against Aston Villa. Dreams, imagine that. But uh, more on Edison Cavani, lads. I'm going to give him an 8.7 because I do see the quality in this card. He does have quality. It's just he lacks those important moments. You know what I'm saying? He lacks those important moments. So, uh, yes, he can do the business on the pitch. He doesn't do it often enough. As for value of coins, it's 7.5. It's just not worth it if you're not a Cavani fan, if you're not a Manchester United fan. Do not do the SVC, simple as that. Enjoyment rating 8.3. Of course, if you're a Paris Saint Germain, Napoli fan, or anything like that, uh, you could always do it, but um, it's a little bit rough. Three star skills, four star weak, but high to high work rates. He's up, he's down, and he's all around, and he does cover a lot of ground at striker and move defenses about. Traits, injury prone, power hitter, which are two weird traits, not amazing traits, but power hitter, especially for strikers. Uh, is not really something you see on strikers. You normally see them on center backs with the corners and whatnot. But again, that kid's that could add to this card. You know what I'm saying? If if he's in the box for a header or something like that, and he just hammers it with his hands, a uh, power header does come into play. Foot champs, he would be a starter. I don't see the point in bringing this guy on off the bench to make an impact. Because I don't believe he would. Uh, Kemp's that would be ancient. Pass, seven for passing, seven for dribbling. Despite his dribbling stats, it's not that impressive, and he does not feel fluid. And... Um, 
8 for shooting, 8 for physical 2. In terms of pros and cons, you've got finishing the shot power, which is 93 and 94 respectively, the heading, which is tremendous. That's a mixture of his jumping, his head accuracy, and... He's height, six foot one. Stamina's 91 as well. His power, I'm talking about mainly strength there and aggression. That kind of combination of the two is very, very pivotal. Uh, first touch is really good as well. At times, 85 ball control, not too shabby. Um, the cons with this card, he's not fluid on the dribble. He's just really not fluid on the dribble. And the free star weak foot is a major con because he doesn't have it. It's free star skills. That is a misprint, a bloody misprint on my screen. But lads, thank you very much. For watching so far the similar players is suarez of course three star four star i think these moments which you do see down below has four star skills uh bruno fernandez links into manchester united you get the kind of picture right there lads sorry for involving newcastle commentary in the middle of this well commentary but um i've been watching newcastle match ah dudes i don't know what's going on thank you so much for liking the video well that's a bit of a promiscuous Promiscuous? Is that a word? Uh, that's, that's a bit of a, um, of a prediction, isn't it? You've already liked the video. But lads, if you have enjoyed, make sure you do like the video. Make sure you drop a comment in the comment section below and see your thoughts on Mr. Edinson Cavani and his 90 rated flashback. Do you think it's overpriced? Because I do. Lads, thank you very much for watching. A like, a comment, subscribe. Catch you tomorrow for some more videos.